Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca SAP Automation Tutorial. So this is our lesson 8 where I'm going to teach you how can we run your automated test cases in Scratchbook by using Tricentis Tosca latest version. So if you remember in my previous four sessions, I was covering test case automation where the test case automation involves series of five steps. I have already explained you first four steps. Step one, two, three, four. I would recommend you guys to go through those sessions before you watch this session. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon and receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so as I told you, if you see in the slide, step 1, 2, 3, 4, we already covered in our previous sessions. So this is our step 5, run automated test cases in Scratchbook. I'm going to teach you how to run. There are two different ways to run the test cases in Scratchbook and what is the purpose of Scratchbook and then I'm going to show you how to analyze the test results in Scratchbook. Okay. So let's get into some details. So running test case in Scratchbook. So this is considered as a trial run of your test cases that creates only a temporary log. What does it mean? So whenever you are automating your test cases, you need to perform some debugging activities, right? You may need to run only one particular step. You may need to run some series of steps that are involved in folder. You may need to run entire test case itself. So basically, you can perform trial run at test case level, test case particular folder level or at test step level okay and then we are going to read and interpret the test results from the scratch book so as i told you there are two ways to use scratch book either you can run the test objects directly so that your test cases will run in scratch book or you can run by using already opened scratch book and also there is one more advantage from scratch book See, once the test results are published in Scratchbook and from Scratchbook, you can jump to your required step step from your Scratchbook results. Basically, from your test results, you can jump on to your test step, corresponding test step. Let's say one of your test step is failed and it is showing in the result as failed. So you can directly right click on your test results failed step and then you can jump onto the corresponding test step in your test case module so that you can immediately change your code and then rerun your test case. So that's really very, very advantage. Okay. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these activities by using Tricent Tosca latest version. Thank you. Okay. So this is my Tosca 16. So in my previous session, I have already explained you about test step values, right? We have automated one end-to-end -end test case, correct? And then we also populated the test step values also, correct? So now let me, so this session is related to running the test set, the test case in Scratchbook, okay? Let's copy this, the previous test case, and then paste it here. And then... Let me rename this as, so let me just bring this up and let me rename this as 08 test run, run test case. Okay. So here let us expand everything. Okay. So there are two ways, as I told you, there are two ways to run your test cases correct so the first so before i tell you i told you right uh, the scratch book is actually to perform a trial run 
and d and to debug your test script okay so one is first method is you can directly right click on this entire test case and click on run in scratch book okay so let's assume i want to run this so you can run your entire test case or you can perform running for your subfolder or you can run your test step also so three levels entire test case level folder level and then your test step level so let's say i want to perform this basically it opens my sap gui okay right click and run in scratch book so this what it will do it runs only those two steps right within the test step so it basically opens your gui see it's it is opening your gui and then it's going to click on connection right see it clicked on connection also that's it so that means what i did i have actually actually i just ran the required test step by using scratch book okay so let's say i have some issue i mean i have automated test case still here then you can run run this this entire folder so that you want to see okay successful login is working correctly or not only this much so then you on folder level you can just click on run in scratch book so this will run the two test steps that are available in the subfolder right basically it opens and clicks on connection and it logins it's going to perform login that's it so that means my login automation is successful so this way you can debug your test script very easily okay and one more thing is one more so another method so there are two methods right another method method to run your test case is by using the existing scratch book how can you access the existing scratch book here go to home open scratch book so if you open the scratch book so this is showing you the test run that we have performed just now right we just performed this entire folder level so you can use your existing scratch book to run how so let me do one thing okay let me clear this either you can directly run here see i can directly what are the test case i executed i can directly run here or clear entries and this is my scratch book you can drag and drop what are all the steps you would like to run let's say i want to run this entire folder and their corresponding test steps right which opens your gui and which opens login also right and then sorry and then i also want to okay let me just sorry right click delete i also want to run this one opening a transaction just drag and drop here so now all these three together i can run this entire login and this one so how right click and run so now it performs login basically opens sap gui it performs login and also it opens your transaction see it opened your transaction also done so three steps so if you want to analyze the results these results are actually temporary results okay see now you can see the results here in the same here all are passed right i don't see any error messages for example let's say let me do one thing okay let me uh remove this password okay let me remove this password so that this test case will fail okay let me run this so if it fails okay let me run right click sorry here right click and run in scratch book what happens now our test case will fail correct so let me enters your username okay so basically there are two sessions that are open already here that's why the test case got failed for example if i open this now open this if you see here 
because in login I have two logins one two correct so I forgot to close the uh, earlier session okay so let's close this and then there is another one so now what happened we got error message correct so now okay what is the step that you got error message what you can do directly if you want to go to the test cases current corresponding test case which is failed you can directly right click on here and click on jump to test step if you click on jump to test step it's going to take you to the corresponding test step see we came here now you can simply correct your password you can simply enter your password so basically what I am telling you if there is any issue right you can directly step let's say I want I want to step here jump to test step it opens your corresponding test step if I want to jump here right click and jump to test step that's it so this is where you can easily debug your test scripts it's very very easy to debug your test scripts okay hope you all understand the how we can run the test cases in scratchbook which will be very much helpful in debug debugging your test scripts and then how can you analyze the test results if i close this session your test results won't be saving all the test results are very temporary but actual if you want to see the actual test results and you want to send the test results through emails right we will be using execution lists okay so how to run these execution lists i'm gonna tell you in my next session okay hope you all understand the concept if you have any queries leave your comments in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you